with first possession of the ball game. Or Tucker to Sexton into the lane, pops up top, and there is Kessler at the rim to grab the lob, to jam it down, and the Jazz score on their first possession. Tucker on him defensively. Initially, Aiton with the ball, squares up on Oletic and drains a 12-footer on the right side. He loves that spot. So, rebound Aiton who rolls to the cup. Nice pass to Kamara. Spins goes off-handed, and a good response by Kessler who blocks it, but into the hands of Aiton. He pumps in the following jump. The glass with Tumani getting it done and the eight. Sexton slants down to the baseline, pivots, and got clobbered on his way to a. Port Tucker avoids oh. sharp reaching in, gets to the cup, lays it in. The last take from Amphrey, the setup, that wasn't a play call. That was him improvising. This is him unloading from deep. <laughs> that is his range. He will continue to creep back there since the ball is in his hands. You look at his career over the last couple seasons, times when he's been the lead ball handler, playmaker, he has put up the kind of numbers that we have seen from him. He's been highly efficient with a trailblazer uniform on. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when you consider going without their top three point guards, Skyler Mays taking over, did a nice job. Very nice job. With Shaden Sharp having to play some point as well. Scrambling after it is Kelly Olenek. Goes right at Sharp. Sidearm pass to the corner. Side adjustment for Fontecchio. Knocks down a triple, and the Jazz lead it. Good pass here, Olenek. Cross court finds Fontecchio. Tripping, falling down is... Tumani Kamara having difficulty staying on his feet down there. And in the meantime, the Jazz brought in the lead here to nine with 3.47 to go in the first quarter. Scoop. Knives into the lane. Teardrop runner up and in. Beautiful play. What Malcolm just did is what you got to do sometimes against a good offensive rebound the team. You have to just turn around, face guard, make sure your man doesn't get the ball, let your teammate get it, and then get a triple on the other end. On the court, it translates. He can lead by example. He can lead by experience. He's got accolades to old school. Oh, 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 oh. Elevate. Scoot the big 19 against the Los Angeles Clippers. And he did more than score. It was so many other aspects of that game. Six assists, two for him in that one. backs him off, bringing that right leg up. Sterling Scoot Henderson, the 19-year-old from Marietta, Georgia, played for the G League Ignite. Off it comes to Simons. In the corner to Brockton. And Malcolm. It's another three. To set the screen on was a make or break in that possession because if he chooses the other side, it's not as clear of an open look for the Blazers. The D. DA put it down off the body, tried to save it, but Hendricks is there to spike it. Up he comes. He'll get a look at three in transition. Leans in and scores. Good form on the run, Taylor Hendricks. Sexton looks right, goes left, lays it up there to Kessler for the two-hand jam. They can switch that. Jams off glass. Reith collects it. Here's Simons. Draws the D out to Kamara. Catch and shoot in transition. Another splash for Tumani. Tumani threes. Oh, too many threes. No. And that's why, Kev, I've been saying, I, I truly believe he's a better three-point shooter than a 25 or so percent from the three-point line. His number two. Here is Thibel getting a deflection, saving an inbounds to Kamara. Ahead to Thibel, into Aiton, turns and laid it up and in. Jazz on the attack, trailing Fontecchio. Look at three, traded. Well, the Blazers getting back defensively. He'll pull up for three, trying to get himself into a rhythm before half. That one dancing off. He's now 0 for 6 from the field. Sexton on the attack. Threads his way through. Stops short. He sees that center sinking, and he'll just pull up. 7 of 19 from three. Fontecchio, 4 of 4 from three. Anderson puts Horton Tucker on his hip. Nice drive into the paint. Pushes it in. Mix uh, some lemon with the saline solution. You know, oh, really? Yeah. Well, since this is the season of giving, as it's known, I want to give you mine. <laughs> you can have mine, all right? They're going to fill things out. Well, good to see them find the middle of that zone defense set up by the Utah Jazz, but they have yet to stop this guy. That's who they want taking these shots right now. So Sexton is glued to Ant. 
Meyer, the offensive rebound, yeah. and hits a runner, setting it up off a dribble drive. Okay. It equalizes the playing field. It says even though the Jazz are without their main scores, and the Blazers have been playing good basketball, as Horton Tucker gets the and one without a feeling of some kind of comeback looming. Like every time it seems like they're about to do something, it's that kind of play made by Horton Tucker. Out of the corner, Thibel will raise for three. That won't go. And the rebound recovered by Kessler. Outlet quickly into front court. Sexton catches it in front court and only has to go about 45 feet to lay it in. Jazz moves the ball to the open shooter, and they get an unimpeded. Sharp is yet to score. Into the lane he comes. He's met by Kessler again in the air. Abaji the rebound to Olenek. On to Dunn. Out hustling the Blazers. Right now they're getting out work. Murray, stop and go dribble. Peels it outside. Here to Henderson. A runner up and in before Kessler could get off his feet. It's the NBA. Weird stuff happens. Yeah. So I'm not going to call this game over. As Scoop gets it up to Jabari. Oh, need more of that. We yeah. just saw the Jazz going a 14-0 run. The Blazers need something like that. Maybe because of time constraint, a little more modest. How about a 10-0 run? Well, but you got to defend. There's another wide open look in transition. And Utah has done a solid job. Yurts have been brought the ball down to belt buckle range, and Murray took it away from him. Good Henderson pace. in the lane for the right hand jam. Change of pace. The first shot. They outscored the Blazers 38 30 in the first quarter. Picking up where he left off last night with 13 points scored in the fourth quarter of a win against the Knicks. Taylor North Blazers being taken apart by Utah. They're trying to figure out how to play against his deck. There you go. It's that kind of movement right there. That's what I've been talking about with Shaden. See that the nearest man now connects to Shaden and becomes that person taking Shea out of the play. But the Blazers haven't put Utah in those positions enough times throughout this evening. Sprint in there for the jam. Murray the other way. Challenged by Yurt. Seven. Deflects it, but right to Mays. To Henderson for three. Pumped it up and in. Very good this year. And they have a perfect complement, nearly, of all players. Grant, of course, is out tonight. And we've seen a lot of this. Henry's yeah. breaking into the paint to do great tape. This isn't like the kind of tape if this score remains the same, where you say just throw it out. Because there are some learning. Ooh. Picked up from Shady. There are some learning lessons. Had a whole bunch of time to be spending on going against a box and one. They wanted to be a sound defense. They wanted to have togetherness. Good pass from Scoot to Jabari for a dunk. They wanted all those building losers. The fourth game since November the 14th between these two teams. Sharp comes down, triggers a three. That's off. Long rebound. Leading to a run out and another. Yeah, guys, I've got some good news and some bad news. Bad news is I wasn't able to track down Lamar's request of the quickest jump ball in the NBA this season. But I did get to find this one. The best. There we go. Here they are. Walker, nice pump fake. Reverses it in as Lynch of bit. Well, and uh, you're going to see more of that, I'm guessing, from opponents. Oh! Big dunk. Beautiful find in there. Montecchio with 10, Sexton with 10 to lead him in the first period. That's where the, the trend was set for this. Murray stands still. The lefty winds up and delivers from three point range. Now, that's uh, or 23. It's a bigger part. I fit wishful thinking. It is wishful. <laughs> yeah, the Jazz are not. What was the name of it again? <laughs> Here's Walker triggering the pistol. And the rebound to Murray. Ooh. And a flush with the right hand for Scoot Henderson. <laughs> Did you say they'll look at this tape, Lamar? This isn't one of those tapes. I, I this think is so. one of the tapes you throw away. Ties Myers Leonard for the Blazers' record in consecutive games for a center. Break it. There it is. <laughs> right on cue, Lamar, just for you. Jazz on the second of a back to back. Beating the Knicks last night at home. Here's a ball lot dislodged by the Blazers. Murray in the middle of that one again. Brief trailing for three. Lined it up and scored. Go to block, go to block. Fakes the three. Crown wanted to take it. Dribble drive into the lane. Reed with 15. Playing. But it was the Jazz. Very nearly from the jump. 122, 140.